Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on deploying your Flutterflow apps to the App Store. So an exciting new feature that we have is the ability for you to create an app um, for iPhones and iOS without even having access to a Mac. So how this works is you have your Flutterflow project that you work on, you would go to your settings, and then with some information and a click of a button, your app would all of a sudden appear within the App Store developer portal, where you can share it with test flight or actually submit it to the App Store available to all your customers with zero lines of code, believe it or not. So here we go, let's begin this tutorial. So here we've created a project, uh, a very basic project. It only has a, t a text. There are mo all sorts of other tutorials on how to make use of our amazing different features. So I won't go over the things that you can add to this app. We're just going to make a very simple app so we can deploy to the App Store. Then we're going to go to settings and then to the Code Magic tab. We've partnered with Code Magic to deploy your apps to the App Store. And soon we will also let you deploy to Google. So here we can see a couple of different text fields that we need to fill in before we deploy to the App Store. The issuer ID, key ID, private key, and app ID. And I'll go over how you can generate those now. So the first thing you would need is an Apple ID or an Apple account. So go to developer.apple.com and using your Apple account, create a developer account for yourself if you don't have one. So here you can click on create yours now. And it, it requires some information, you fill it out. And then once you're done with it, you'll confirm your email and you have a developer account now. The next thing that you would need to do is to purchase the Apple Developer Membership. And this Apple Developer Program Membership is around $100 a year. Yeah, this is 99 US dollars per membership year that you would need to subscribe to. Once you've subscribed to that, then you will have access to a portal called App Store Connect. And in App Store Connect, you can create your apps and your test flights and submit your apps to the App Store. So before we create our app on the app, on App Store Connect, I'm going to go to the developer portal. So in developer.apple.com, in the account page, there are a couple of tabs that you can look at. What we need to look at is certificates, IDs, and profiles. So in order for our app to deploy to the App Store, we would have to create a bundle identifier with the Apple Developer Program. What that bundle identifier would be is in our case here, package name that we've given to a project. So set it to something like com.daniel addressing my full name dot testing deploy. So name it whatever package name you desire and copy that package name. So I'm going to select all and hit command C to copy. Now here in the certificates, identifiers and profiles, I will go to the identifiers tab. In the identifiers tab, I click the plus button to create a new bundle ID. So there are a lot of options here, but we're going to ignore all of them and go with app IDs. Click continue, select app, not app clip because it doesn't apply to us. Select continue. And here, there are a couple of things that you would need to input. First of all, most importantly, it is the bundle ID. So here, you can paste in the bundle identifier, the package name that we assigned to this project. So uh, double check that they're equivalent, otherwise uh, there may be some issues that pop up along the way. And then provided a description. So testing Flutter flow deploy app. A description doesn't need to be anything special. 
you can assign anything to it. The next step is capabilities. So there are a lot of capabilities here, most of which don't apply to Flutterflow, but there are a couple to look out for. For example, if you have sign in with Apple, you would want to select that. If at some point you we support push notifications or something like that, uh, maps, whatever, make sure that you have selected all the capabilities that are required for your app before clicking continue. So now that we've almost made it, we double check everything, make sure our bundle ID is equivalent to our package name in Flutterflow, and then click register. So now we have created the, here it is, the bundle ID for our application. Now that we're done with this, we're going to go ahead to App Store Connect. And this link is appstoreconnect.apple.com. So it is different than developer.apple.com. One way you can also go to App Store Connect is by going to Apple Developer to your account. And then over here, you can see App Store Connect. So you can click on that right there. In App Store Connect, there are a couple of options here. And we're going to go with My Apps. So here, we're going to create our application. Click the plus button, select New App. And now select the platform that you're building. In our case, that'll be iOS. Give it a name, give it a unique name. So something like Flutterflow Testing App. If you notice, if, if we go something like Uber, which is already taken, uh, we will get into some issues. So make sure you select a unique name here. Flutterflow Testing Deploy. Select your primary language. In my case, that would be English US. And select the bundle ID. So here we will be selecting the bundle ID that we actually just made in the previous step. So that would be testing flow flow deploy app com testing deploy. And now we will assign it a unique SKU. Uh, this can be anything, but uh, you can just name it the bundle ID uh, as long as it is unique as as long as it's a unique string you should be good to go now if you have other users in your App Store Connect account you will have this little section at the bottom so now that I've selected everything here I'm going to hit create this is our portal for our application where we see all the information regarding App Store such as where you put all your screenshots your promotional text keywords description. What we would need to look at is this one tab on the side called called app information. So click on app information. And then scroll down to general information. And then select the, the number that appears under Apple ID. So select that number, click command C or copy it. Go to your Flutterflow code magic settings and then under app ID, paste it in. So make sure that the two are equivalent. Now you can go on to uh, the next step. So this is all we really need with the app portal here. Now we're going to go back to App Store Connect. And then we're going to go to the users and access tab. Here, we're going to generate the key required for CodeMagic to push the application to your App Store Connect account. So for that, we would go to keys. And then the first thing that we see here is the issuer ID. So this is a random text that is assigned to your account. Click copy, go to Flutterflow, and paste it into issuer ID. Now go back to App Store Connect and then click this blue plus button. This is an API key. So if you are making an API key for Flutterflow, you can call it Flutterflow test deploy or something like that. And then give it an access. It really doesn't matter. You can give it admin, you can give it ad manager, app manager, but it has to be one of the two. So I'm going to go with admin. So now we've generated the API key. You can see the name Flutterflow Test Deploy generated by me, the key ID, and download API key. 
So make sure that once you've created your API key, that you download the API key. So click this, select download, and it's telling you that you can only, only download it once. So download it and make sure you don't throw it in the trash. And then you have a couple options for how you want to open it. You have this little P8 that's called auth key underscore something, and then dot P8. So we need to open and access the contents of this file. You can open it with any text editor uh, that you're using. In my case, I'm using VS Code, but you can also use text edit. You can use, if you're on Windows, you can use whatever editor that you're currently using. So I'm going to go to VS Code, make a new window, drag that downloaded file in. And then here you will see a private key. So select all the contents of this private key. You can do Command A and then copy it. So Command C. Now I have copied this key. I'll go to Flutterflow and I will paste it under private key. So select private key and then paste the whole thing. Now onto the last piece of the puzzle, which is the key ID. So Flutterflow test deploy, we just added it, copy the key ID and then go paste it right here. So now we have supplied all the necessary information to deploy our app to the App Store. There are a couple of ways that we can go about this now. We can deploy it to the App Store right now. And then what this will do is Flutterflow will generate the code for our project as it is on the Flutterflow website and then push it to CodeMagic to deploy to the App Store. Another way you can go about it is by selecting your own GitHub repository. So if you've supported, if you've added support for GitHub in the GitHub tab, so in my case, I have associated a GitHub account, a GitHub repository with my project by following the steps here. Once you push your code to GitHub, you can select your GitHub as a deployment source. So in my case, I can go use my GitHub repo and then select the branch name. So I could select Flutterflow or if I've made any other changes and have other branches here, for example, it's common to have an edit branch where you, you make your own changes to the Flutterflow code and then push it back to the repo. You can select whatever branch that you wish here. So it could be Flutterflow, it could be main, it could be edit. And what will happen is instead of generating the code ourselves, we will simply download the code that is in your GitHub repository and then push it to the App Store. Now, in my case, I uh, there's no difference between my project and my GitHub rep repository, so I don't need to use my GitHub repository. Now, once I've finalize everything, I click the deploy to app store button. Here you will get a confirmation button, uh, a confirmation dialog. If you have uh, created a deploy and you are clicking deploy once again, it will cancel the deploy that's currently undergoing. So make sure you confirm your deploy. Now it'll take around, you know, 30 to 40 seconds for the deploy to go through. And uh, I'm just going to wait and let this spinner go through. Cool. We got a success message. So that means that it has submitted a deployment to CodeMagic to submit to the App Store. And then we can see the status here, latest message saying submitted. Now. The deployment usually takes 40 minutes, 60 minutes, could even take two hours. It entirely depends on your project. So every once in a while, you can click this button, check build status, and then it will tell you the status of your deploy. So now the status would be, it's loading right now, Let's see what it says. building. Okay. Took a while. All right. So it's currently building. 
Now I will check back in 30 minutes, 40 minutes or something, and uh, see what my deploy is doing. Now, if everything goes well, you wouldn't need to go back to Flutterflow. You will get an email from App Store Connect that a new build has been added to your app. So in the case of a previous app that I've built, you can, you can go to Test Flight and see a list of all the builds that have been submitted from Flutterflow. This here is where I can set up my test flight app. I would simply go on the build that, I, that I've deployed recently, click manage, answer the question here, and then click start internal test testing. Now I click on the build, and then here I provide all the test details, and then select the, the testers that I'm adding to this test flight and then move on from there. So testing, click save, and then test information, provide all the descriptions. And then once you finished all of this, you would be able to submit this to the test flight. You can also do the same thing to the app store. You can see, you can select the build here that we, we've just deployed. And then, yeah it should be good to go from here. One thing to note is to make sure that you've selected an app icon. So this is called also a launcher. You can access this in the Flutterflow project settings under general and app assets. So go to app launcher icon and clicks upload an image. So before you deploy, make sure that you have uploaded an image for your project Otherwise, the deploy will fail. So that's a, an important caveat to have. And otherwise, yeah, this is all there is to know. Oh, here it is. Failed step eight script generate launch icon. Okay, so this is saying that uh, I've forgotten to add the icon. So yeah, need an icon. Anyways, hopefully this was a useful tutorial. Let us know if you have any questions. And if you're a pro user, you should be able to chat with us through our website and look forward to new tutorials coming out and specifically Google Play coming out in the near future. Thank you.